afternoon this is the official product launch of my retro reader version 2 product the original version was a program that let you control Adobe Reader using the joystick and I had obviously a few animations and little glitches here and there the new version is a bit more streamlined and gives you not just a few animations it gives you around about 23 animations all of them classic BBC micro games at the time state-of-the-art programs that you know made the BBC micro what it was such as Exile or uh, Citadel I didn't put Elite that's the only one but there's um, Castle Quest as well that's amazing and I've matched him not um, not only done that but uh, I've, I've made them all so that they're all nicely cut and pasted and look very nice and tidy in the little progress bar that you get well I'll, I'll, I'll try and dive straight into it basically what you do to start this this um, it's in a script a script that runs over on top of Adobe Reader and requires a joystick to be plugged in so it, it's not part of Reader it is um, a script an auto hotkey script in fact and it just runs in the background you run Adobe Reader and you run this program uh, afterwards and you make sure you've got a joystick connected into it I'm going to start off by running Adobe Reader now this I I'm trying to read this rather complicated PDF about BBC micro programming normally you don't have much kind of a choice over here you just move around with your hand cursor and scroll and jump to pages there's nothing very amazing about it but um, using the facilities of reader that allow you to actually make the page scroll automatically and at different directions like one two I can press one two and change the direction of you don't have to do this, a script does this for you, and you can use minus to change the direction, shift, control H to stop the scrolling again. I've made the script so that it just listens to the joystick and interprets all that into a nice smooth experience. So you can use the right hand side of the joystick, the right control paddle to actually scroll around in reader in using the joystick. So I'm going to run the program now, which does all that basically automatic for you, it does all those key presses for you. Retro reader. Now, uh, okay, I think I'm just about ready to go. I'm going to actually run it in full screen mode because then it looks even more impressive when I do that. At the moment, it's got all the toolbars and the uh, menu and title bar. When you actually have it in, you just do the control L and it will flip into you just I'm just running read at the moment, same as I would do normally. I've got the, the, the thing there, I've not done anything special. Now make sure you've got your joystick connected in some USB port. It might also help if you just wiggle the joystick around all different corners on both sticks. Just because some of them don't kind of automatically center. Um, mine does. This is a reasonable one. But some of the older ones I don't think do. That's one thing to be aware of. Um, but apart from that, you've got the joystick connected. You're running reader now. The magic. You run the reader script on this I'm just running it off as a as a interpreted file where I'm gonna actually finish it not today I don't know I think so I'm probably not it's just gonna be retro reader.exe and there's gonna be one for each kind of platform 64 32 bit so it's gonna be in a zip file for 32 or zip file for 64 and you just run it in whatever directory you want you just unzip all the files which contain all the animations and the script that was going to be for your platform whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit and it's easy enough to download I just put a link on um, at, at the bottom of the YouTube thing so that you can just go straight to the page and download the one that's for you and then unzip it somewhere and just run it on mine I'm actually running it right you know as an as a interpreted script using the auto hotkey interpreter straight out okay so I'm starting running the program nice easy instructions page one out of two just a quick show that on the left hand side you move the crosshair on the right hand side you turn the you, you, you scroll the actual page and you can use Windows Q to quit as well 
and there's a crosshair button which turns on and off and there's a, a scan button number three which turns the scanner on and off and they're the main ones and there's also a few others but they're the main ones fire one to continue there's yeah this is the one that tells you this there's, there's a jump to page one so you don't even have to touch the keyboard to jump to a different page and reader so now we're just about ready and there's a calibrate bit because sometimes we is not going the right way that we want it to go so we just wanted to get get that completely right to the program so it understands am i moving up yes am i moving down no so i'm going to press three i'm not moving up no and that's it we're up and running it's revolutionary eh? okay no it's not revolutionary what this is revolutionary is when it actually starts to use the right hand joystick to control the movement of the page that starts getting a bit fancy because I can just smoothly scroll up and down the more harder I press on it the, the faster it goes there's a limit how fast I can go I can't actually scroll that fast because a reader program is like any other Windows thing it uses up more processor the more fast it's working so basically the harder you scroll the harder it gets on the system so I can't go really really fast you know and just like in a game I guess you might you might that there's a limit how fast I can actually go without it getting a bit screwed up the, the communication breaks down between the, the script and the reader and that's quite a big problem when, 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 when the program loses control of the reader because then 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 I'm not sure what actually so I, I can't control reader I'm just trying to send the key presses that that I understand it's getting I hope it's getting and it does seem to be getting and I'm doing that reasonably well at the moment because it's keeping control of it very nice and tight Anyway, that's one thing. The other thing is you press button one and you get this nice crosshair. So let's see, with the left control stick, I can move this stuff around. So I can sort of zoom in. I can't zoom in, no, sorry. Zoom in is not the right term. I can I can center in on something that might be difficult. Let's, let's I center this sentence. 16 bit register to contain so address, blah, 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 blah. It's taken from P percent. Okay. And then the beauty of it is that I can then put the scanner which is a separate thing I'll switch it off this is the scanner thing this is where all the animations come into it at the moment it's just started from one of them uh, this is the the, the, the the you know obviously it goes through all the animations one at a time it can't do all of them at once but this is quite good for for, for, for long time reading when you're spending a long time looking over something because you can find that you set, you, you t your time passes and it's reminding you the time constantly the day everything um, but better still, while it's doing that, say I'm a bit, a bit tired of looking at this particular part of the PDF, I can simultaneously start scrolling to a different part of the PDF, and as soon as I stop scrolling, the program understands it's got to carry on doing that scan line while you've got it switched on, so it will carry on, uh, and automatically turns it on and off, depending on whether you're able to actually stop at the, at the moment or not. So it understands this idea that the things have stopped and it can start again. So it's, it's quite intelligent in that way. And there I've got, an, that, that's my new animation that I've just been chucking these out quite a lot. That's the, the, the snapper one. So I've just, I've, that's not less than 23 animations that I've kind of cut and pasted and, you know, edited to make them look quite fancy. And, and they load reasonably well as well, so they don't take ages to load. That's another nice thing about it. This they go on about four times and before the new one comes on, so you're not going to get bored because there's 23. It's plenty to keep you going. Okay, now let's switch that off a second. Button three, button one again. I want the crosshair. Even more fancy. What if I want both of these together? So let's say, for example, blah 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 blah. Accumulator A. Let's accumulator A. An eight big general purpose. Now just bear with me a minute. I'm going to scroll there. Normally a bit faster than this, but I'm capturing the screen, so it's not 100% uh, quick. I'm going to switch the scanning on. There's no reason why you can't have them both together. So you know, the 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 the, 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 the scanning just simply goes over the line, and and um, you, you can use the, the the crosshair as a kind of a ruler to watch different parts of the screen as you're trying to read them. So now I'm going to even move this crosshair. Oh, there's a new animation. That's one of the older ones. An arcade one, Arcadia's one. That's probably one of the most dull animations over the whole lot now, because the rest of them look really quite fancy. And that's just a simple, simple, very simple one. I'm going to move the crosshair, 
and again it understands that that, that, that that you're trying to do something new so it stops the scanning and as soon as you stop it carries on the scanning and even better why not combine both this took me ages to get absolutely working perfectly months I can scan the and move the, the page around to a different section oh now I'm gonna look at the program status register what's this about stop moving there and it switches everything on and it stops the scrolling and everything works spot on you know time to perfection that took me about two months to work out to get perfect you know so you can now benefit from version two of the retro regular script which is now absolutely tested you know and move this crosshair around to a different part of the screen I'm now trying to concentrate on this bit um, yeah interrupt state is very good you see it's really working it's bringing out the flavor of the text and even better because this is about a BBC micro okay now this one is I'm not actually tried these animations yet I'm just trying to kind of like get the flavor as much as possible what this is going to look like when it's and I'm not I'm, I'm, as of now I haven't made them available for download yet I'm, I'm gonna do that this is the frogger one the hopper one that is um, some animations they don't have a background that's really going to look good unless it's black so I had to just make black the background because you can see it's not going to quite work the, the, you know the, the, the road color is important so they don't quite necessarily blend in as well but it's hard not to have the black background in there because the black background has a meaning to the actual context of the gameplay in this particular game it's hard to say that, that I want this background to be transparent but it, 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 as much as I possible I did that like with the killer gorilla guy I did that. that that's quite an old one again that I had from before but that's that's actually not too bad that one because it shows you a lot of different going on you know, and again you can kind of see what's going on with this with this game uh, this computer system is very advanced let's move to a different area you know it just makes you, you know, it's very good isn't it? You know? I'm not sure it works so much for reading stuff that's not BBC related to be honest but uh, but, but it does work very well with stuff that is BBC micro of for the you know for that particular purpose it does seem to kind of go with the flow of it very well scroll around to a different bit language limiters I switch all that off and I'll show you the page jump as well this is button two Oh, actually that's emergency calibrate if you get if you go to the top of the page and it, it carries on going it will kind of mess up the, the coloration so all you do is just press button 2 and recalibrate is the text moving no press yes it's moving up no it's moving no yes moving up that's it sorted if if you run off to the end of the document it might kind of get get, get a bit screwed but that that's how you do it button 2 button 4 I was trying to show you button 4 I'm on page 4430524 then I use a left control stick to control the page that I want to go to and then button 4 to jump to that page again so I'm now at that particular page I want to jump back to a different one left control stick right I'm going up the numbers button 4 jump to that page again so again it's got you know this ability to jump quickly so you don't have to wait for it to scroll button 3 switch the scanning on or actually button 1 switch the cross on and button 3 I have them together well this looks good what's this about so you know a great British computer British Broadcasting Corporation great tradition and these two, these um, these animations kind of bring out the flavor of it and, and it's helped me to understand it much better as well the um, the BBC Micro the, the, and there are lots of animations in there there are lots of different games I haven't tried each single one of them one by one and because there's so many of them but uh, I, I've got I've got a feeling I've used a very good program called ProMotion by Cosmigo and it's a very very good program for doing animation that, and especially the old retro style of animation so I'm pretty confident because it's pretty good that, that, that these animations will work spot on as they seem to be doing alright so far move to a different bit yeah.